Hey guys, it's Tanya from 4 Girls Jewelry with a quick tutorial how to make this piece. For the inside, you will use four of the beads and I like bicons, but you can use bicons and any seed beads. This is large seed beads, uh, six oh, I believe. So you can use the same color or you can use different color. You can jazz this piece wherever how you want it you can add any colors combo together so here is the one more that i use with the only bicons and any anything like i said you can jazz it you can make pink you can red, red whatever colors you like it's very easy and simple it's just repetitive and sort of like a this side is flat you can see if I put in the profile like this, it's flat, but then all the details you have in front, it's the, the bead stands out. I like that. So let's pick up our wires and let's start wire wrapping. And before I start wire wrapping, I want to guys tell you that I will start teaching a personal uh, in-person classes in Evanston. So if you are in Illinois or in close to Evanston and would like to sign up for the class you can go on my Facebook and there is a link or you can go to Evanston Art Center and I'm the only one wire wrapper so far so uh, beginners wire wrapping classes and we it's not only for the beginners but I don't know what kind of um, skill level people I will have so the classes have the name beginners but so invite you to my class if you want to buy a wrap and learn from me in person okay so what we need we need 24 gauge or 22 gauge and some thicker wire any wire you want um i use for this project 18 because those were good size drill so i can actually put the beads on my main wire that's what we wanted to do today and here i have four of them we need only two for our project i cut one a little bit more than the other because i want to use for a purpose uh, like this has to be a little bit larger than three other ones but they can also be small so that depends what you what you want if you can put the tinier jump ring inside it's good too but that's what i use so let's see mine oh uh, let me let me see this way so this one is that long a little bit longer than two and a half inch and uh, the the smaller is uh, exactly two and a half so two and a half and a little bit more for the other one or they can be two and a half both of them and what i do is i need 24 gauge or 22 gauge depends what thickness of the wire you like for my wrapping and i will start on one we need only one wrap to begin i know it's not enough but when we combine together everything it will be okay so we just wrap once and I still have a little thing that I need to cut. Then we put our next wire on top, like so. And we hug with 24 or 22 gauge wire. And we go on our third wire and my fourth wire. That's what you have. And this is the time when we try to put everything nice, how it's supposed to go. And time to cut that little tail of the beginner when we beginning start. Boom, done, cut. Squish very nicely your wire so it will not catch on anything. And be ready to start wrapping. So we have one little wire wrap on each and I want three of them. So we will get second one underneath, second here, 
underneath second here and go to the top i need to i don't I, I don't know i ran out of my nail polish anymore, so it's kind of funny sorry for that so we have two now we have the third one two three four so we have all four wires with the three one two three wraps that stage i would like to gently squish them together oops squish them nicely together so they will look nice and your finished project all of the all of the all three looks good now okay tight and nice now it's time to put our beads i will use blue beads so we put on one and what I do is you go from underneath and you just wrap once then we go this way so we'll put a second second bead and wrap so let me just quickly do this from underneath one wrap one wrap and we go to the top and I want to have again three three of those uh, wires around so i will go go ahead and do my second one this is two and i want a number three so i quickly go to the third okay when you did three before we proceed to the next stage what i do is use your pliers and just gently squish your wires. You can you can do it a couple times. So I did squish. Again, squish. And my last one, squish. If you feel like you didn't squish enough, you can go again. Go ahead and do it the second time second round or even more so I did I feel like mine is perfectly squished so we have flat here and these beads laying on top with the wire okay you can also on this stage gently push all the wrapping wires here just gently okay looks good so i will add my last row of beads i will use the same so again just make sure if you put them it's nicely the the wires here is set nice and you again go around once this is my first row and I like to have also three so I need one more bead I appreciate the drill hole in all of those it's really nice to work with a thicker wire okay so this is my So we have once and I want a three again. So go ahead and do the three. One. This is the second around. And my third around. Two, three. And the last. 
last one. I just go fast, but when I finish, uh, I do twice on top, cut the wire. I don't need this anymore. Nicely squish. Make sure you can also push the wire a little bit on top because that will be your um, bail from here. And again, we do the same thing. We just squish the wires. If you need, just gentle, gently, gently push to the side, like inside. It can be nice earrings too. I think I will make some earrings like that. You can pick up the tiniest one, use the um, not that thick wire for the earrings. It will be beautiful, beautiful earrings. Isn't it? Yeah, I think so. So now what we do is we decide where the bale will be. Like if you see the, I think that should be here because it's a larger, like the longer one. So I can leave this for the, for the bail here we wanted to it also depends up to you how large your loops you want to make you can eyeball it or you can uh, use your measuring tool like uh, your tape and measure everything i will just cut like that i always hammer before i wrap so i will not hammer it's very loud in front of camera but then you make your uh, wrap loops and I have two that I want to show you like this I wrap it this way and I put jump ring and add whatever I want to add beads and you know on the on put the little leftover wire bead whatever you want to but this piece I actually left it longer and I didn't use any jump ring inside I just put directly in it see and I like that too. So you, you can you can you can decide what you want how you want to finish this piece. If you want to just do it um, something like that, and then I always cut a little bit of the curved thing. So if you decide you want to uh, use the jump ring, if you don't want to use jump ring you can use the same thing just make it this way and put all your um beads wrapped beads and anything you want to accessorize this square with it, this diamond with you can put it in here and make your bail the same way um also, I, I put it this way so I can use jump ring and then I will do the um, chain from both sides. I hope you guys like it. I hope you can create amazing pieces. Colorful. If you use thinner wire, you can make, you can put the smaller beads inside and the squares will be very tiny. Could be very beautiful for earrings. I don't know the bracelets. Hmm. Possible. It's just for inspiration. Hope you guys will pick up wires and wire wrap. And for those who really want a wire wrap with me, and I will have tons of different ideas, not the same like on YouTube. I will prepare new projects for us. Um, you can guys join me. The space is so limited. And um, for those who just far away and have to watch me on YouTube, I will see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you again. Bye-bye, bye-bye.